Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have some weekly wows for you. I have some products that I have pulled out of my stash or been shopping my stash. I also have some products that were sent to me from um, Octoly and from Ofra, Drawer, and um, Andre Walker. So I have some skincare, some makeup, and some hair care products. I also have um, some dead products that I did not like that I'll be talking about toward the end. So um, let's go ahead and get started and we'll just start with the cosmetic products that um, I pulled out of my collection that I've been using and um, I'll start with how I created my eye look. So I am this, this week I've been using um, my, I pulled out and have been using products from Laura Mercier, so that's what I've been using, and that's how I created my eye look. Now, unfortunately, these palettes are were like limited edition, maybe for like Christmas, that type thing. But most of the colors in these palettes are um, eyeshadows that she carries all the time. Um, a lot of the um, eyeshadows that she does in these um, are like repeats, so if she probably has an eyeshadow palette out right now and it's probably going to have a lot of these colors in that so that's why i feel pretty comfortable go ahead and talking about and let you know what i've been using even though you can't get these right now but um, you can get laura mercier at any time um, this is the one that i used um, today and probably the one that i've used most frequently you can definitely tell by um, this one right here um, there you go. Now you can see it. I've hit pan <laughs> on this shadow. This one is called Vanilla Nuts. And this one I used all over the lid to kind of create a base. And then I put this color here, which is called Plum Smoke. I use that in the crease. And that looks like that there. And then I put um, Violet Ink into the outer edge right there which is this color here right here and right there in the outer edge now unfortunately with um, her colors and which is not necessarily unfortunate because there are a lot of people that don't like very vibrant shimmer eyeshadows and that's perfectly fine um, you know in the workforce it's probably not that appropriate um, but me personally, I like a little bit more oomph in my eyelid, so I did pull in a little bit more of a shinier um, eyeshadow than what I had available to me from this brand. So that is um, something different that I have here on the inner portion of my eye. I didn't have anything in any of these palettes that I felt would um, suffice for what I like. But um, her eyeshadows are definitely something that is very, um, creates a very soft, kind of like a romantic, very, um, not well, not necessarily romantic. I would say more like um, work, work appropriate, maybe even age appropriate. Um, just um, very, you can definitely do subtle. You can definitely um, build up kind of like what I have done and make it a little bit more more to it um, but definitely um, more of a subtle look work appropriate I know I keep saying that but um, maybe for church um, for going out and ju you just want a, a softer look maybe for a work interview or something of that sort um, you can definitely always count on Laura Mercier you know giving you that they're easy to work with they're easy to blend um, also with her eyeshadow palettes like these darker ones here on the ends you can always use those as eyeliners they work perfect for that um, this one has a lot of the same colors as the other one I haven't bought a new one in a while be just for that reason is because a lot of the new one colors you know I'll go to these four that I have and I'll look and can look at all these colors that I have look what's in that new palette and I'll have the same colors ex with the exception of maybe one or two or three new eyeshadows and so it's just not really worth the cost for me 
This one has um, a blush in it, and this is the blush that I have on today, which is called um, Bellini. And it has, it's a really nice, um, kind of a corally pink, and it has a little bit of um, shimmery glitter to it, but it's not not over the top it's just a really nice subtle subtleness that just brings some nice glow to the cheeks but it's not going to be too much to where it's not going to make you look like barbie <laughs> so it's just really really pretty and um i don't use a whole lot out of this this palette as far as the eyeshadows go but i have used that blush quite a bit and then I have, the last one I have is this one here. And this one, the colors that I like the most out of this one are these two right here. This gray, this navy right here, and this taupe color. That navy is called Deep Night, and the taupe is called Stone Taupe. And I've used that quite a bit. So I, those were the eyeshadow palettes that I've used this past week, week and a half. And then um, I went through my my drawers just to look and see you know what else from Laura Mercier do I have and I found a highlight that I had and that I pulled out and have been using and this is a really nice highlight if you don't like a lot of highlight like you like a really subtle highlight I do have it on as my highlight so um, it's not the normal highlight that I normally have but it does give me a nice soft luminous glow it's not you know just overly like bam <laughs> um, like I said nice for um, the work environment going to church you know just ev an everyday highlight and it looks like this here and it's called the highlight number one and it's called a matte romance baked powder that's what it says yeah and highlight number one and there's a pretty heavy swatch of it just kind of wanted to see, maybe you could see it a little bit on camera so I don't know if they're meaning for that to be an all, an all over palette or all over powder I don't think so because I think that would be too much of a shine I'll just put a little bit down my nose maybe you can see a little bit more there I my cheeks. I didn't bring my little brush over here. Do that right there. So, but there you go. Now you can see it. But yeah, it's just really pretty. It's just a nice, soft, soft glow that's just really pretty on the cheeks and any highlighted points that you want to put it on. Just works perfectly. And then the. Um, the only um, blush that I have, other than those two that I showed you in those palettes, was this one here, the single that I have, and this one is called Spiced Cider, which is perfect for um, fall and winter, and I'm beginning to think that we are in a permanent winter, and um, I heard that the groundhog is um, in Hawaii waiting extradition back to Michigan, because um, if he lied and he's being um, charged with um, fraud and um, embezzlement and all kinds of stuff for leading the United States to believe that spring was just around the corner when in fact um, spring has not been just around the corner but instead spring is I think being um, held hostage somewhere but anyway there it is right there isn't that pretty and you can really blend this out and it's very easy to blend out does it have any harsh harsh edges and even if you're pale you can definitely make this work and it's just a very very pretty blush and it has a little bit of a sheen to it but not too much and it's just like I said for fall and our um, never ending, never ending winter. It is just really, really pretty. Yesterday was Saturday here, and um, well, it was Saturday everywhere, but <laughs> we had a really pretty day yesterday. It was 70, the sun was shining, super, super windy. But um, today it's like 
40 degrees and it's rainy and it's cold, so I don't know. This weather is just crazy. And then um, I was looking, just going back through my drawers, just making sure I hadn't missed anything that was Laura Mercier that I wanted to try. And lo and behold, I found a deluxe size thing of bronzer. And apparently I had used this quite a bit before because the little the dome of it was, was completely flattened out. But it's the bronzer number three, and it's a matte radiance baked powder bronzer. And it is a little bit too dark for me. It's a little bit too orange. And um, but I am going to keep it out and keep using it because I want to go ahead and finish it. But um, there it is. That's what I've been using. I'm going to continue, like I said, to keep using it until I just finish it up. Probably, I would think I would probably finish it up by the end of March, if not the beginning of April. But there it is right there. Like I said, it's a little bit too orange for me. But if I can just remember to blend it out pretty good, it works perfectly for me. And it's just a really pretty, pretty bronzer. Um, it's a really nice formula. And I recommend the Laura Mercier. So, anyway, been enjoying using Laura Mercier. I have a tendency to put things in my drawers and then just kind of forget about them because I was bringing in so much new stuff. And um, it's kind of nice to go back to the, the, um, the classics that you know work and that are easy to work with and perform like they're supposed to time and time and time again you know every time you pull them out you know you're going to get a good eye look out of them but anyway okay so the next product i'm going to be talking about and i had some technical difficulties so this is the second time i have filmed this part so i'm going to just briefly touch on this but then i'm going to do a transition and then i'm going to be go right in and finish talking about this and that is the ofra long-lasting um, lipstick. This was sent to me um, from Ofra through Autely, and um, it is in the color Rendezvous. It's a beautiful um, spring color, getting ready to come up to spring, hopefully. And so I'll just do a little transition right here and just go right into my little spiel on why I like it and um, the money that you can save. And then, so I'll just get right into it at all. But it's a discount code where you can get some money off if you order um, this and use that discount code. But it's the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And I will tell you, it's very, very comfortable. It's a matte, um, but it's not a drying matte at all. And um, it's long lasting. Now, it will come off whenever you eat something. It's not one of those that's going to last through eating and drinking you know if you drink something out of a cup or a straw it's going to leave you know a residue on on your glass or your straw um it's easy to get off but oh it's so pretty i mean and it's the color is called rendezvous if i remember correctly yes rendezvous and from ofra and again, oh, it's just so pretty. And like I said, I have it on my lips. So I don't know if I really need to swatch it or not, but I will. I'll give you a big swatch of it just in case. Oh, but it's so pretty. When I seen this pop up on my, my free store on Octoly, I just knew I wanted to get it. Oh, because it was just so pretty. Look at that. Oh, pretty, pretty. Yes. And it's almost... I start to say, is this more like a coral color? This is kind of, you know, makes me think of the Pantone color of the year, which is a coral color. So it's kind of a coral color. So definitely um, keeping in with the Pantone color of the year. But definitely not drying, um, semi long lasting, you know. Like I said, you're, you're going to have to touch up throughout the day with it, but um, it's not just going to completely just come off you know right away um, you're going to get some some um, distance out of it okay so now we're ready to move on to some skincare and again this product was sent to me through Ottilie and um, from Drora and this is this product here 
and this is a um, serum. And what kind of drew me in to this serum is um, a couple of things. One is that it has turmeric in it, and turmeric is known to help really brighten the skin and help with um, hyper hyperpigmentation, which um, I have a spot that's kind of like right in here on my forehead that is um, sun damage. I know what that is from laying out in the sun um, back in my teens and 20s. Um, you can see it. I'm, well, can you see it poking through on camera? I can see it in my mirror right here. There's just a spot right there. And I feel like it's starting to get bigger even though I've been using um, sunscreen. And then I have a, and I don't see it um, poking through on through my, well, yeah, I do here. I'm, use, I'm trying out a new um, face base too, so stay tuned for that. But um, I have a spot right here too. And I know that is from when I drive, you know, the sun coming in through the window. So I have a spot right here. And so I'm really trying and interested in different products that are geared toward working on hyperpigmentation. So that's why I was like, okay, this has got turmeric in it. And I've heard of turmeric being, you know, good for um, lightening and brightening the skin. It also has um, clove flower in it. And it's an anti-aging serum. And also, um, there was an article uh, about this in InStyle magazine, and the person that wrote the, the article, it was just a small tidbit uh, about it, um, stating that, you know, her mother made um, a statement asking her once she had been using this for a little bit, you know, asking her if she had um, had Botox. So now they're claiming this is like Botox in a bottle. Uh, I don't know about that. I haven't been using it long enough. Now I do know that when I do use it, I've been using it at night, I do get kind of a, a tightening feeling when I use it, especially here in the forehead area. Now I haven't been using it long enough to notice any lightening um, of this spot here or of this spot here but um, I've only had it for a couple of weeks, so it's gonna take, I'm gonna say probably the whole bottle to see if I notice any results, um, you know, long-term results from using it. But I'm going to um, get my glasses on and um, let you know what all it says. Um, it says this Youth Elixir Boost Radiance even out skin tone firms and reduces the look of fine lines by using a unique a unique complex of powerful antioxidants exotic botanicals and plant peptides um, oil free and fragrance free and um, here is what the serum itself looks like let's see I still got a little bit of that lipstick I try to wipe it away but you can kind of still see some of it there but here is what it looks like. I don't want to waste it because it's the price on it is around $70. There will be a link in the description box, of course, for it. But this is, um, it's not sticky, it's not tacky. Um, it doesn't have any kind of burning sensation to it, anything of that nature. Like I said, the only thing that I have felt so far is kind of a tightening sensation, a firming sensation, if you will, and it absorbs very quickly into the skin. So um, that's, that's kind of what I have to say about it at this point. Um, so far, I'm liking it. Um, the turmeric, I feel like, is up there pretty good in the ing ingredient deck. Um, I will tell you, it's not listed on here under turmeric. It is listed under a different name. And it took me a while to figure out what it was. I had to look up all these names. Um, some of them I knew, but some of them I wasn't for sure what they were. Um, and of course, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it for you because it's a big, long scientific name. Um, 
tetrahydrocorachemianoids. <laughs> I know I butchered that, but that's that's where the, the turmeric is at, um, where it's listed, where it's derived from. And um, this, of course, is a very well-known um, um, beauty ritual that comes from um, India. Um, especially during their wedding preparation. Um, you can definitely go on and Google that. It's very interesting. You know, the brides will do a big um, turmeric mask type situation where they're trying to, you know, because, you know, they're genetically have the darkness under their eyes and, um, you know, the skin is, is dark and they really want to brighten and just be glowing and just beautiful for the groom when um, they're going for the ceremony so they'll do all these different um, rituals and mask and the turmeric is just they do a lot with the turmeric for the brightening and everything and um, I tried doing a DIY um, turmeric mask myself but you have to be really careful with those because they can stain the skin yellow. So if you know of a really good DIY turmeric mask, I would be interested in knowing what that is. But Gerara is where ancient wisdom meets the demands of the modern world, inspired by Jama, Juma, Jama, Indonesia's ancient herbal medicine. Um, Let's see, it has turmeric, ginger, showing invisible results while promoting histolic balance and being safe for sensitive skin. I haven't noticed any kind of irritation while using it. Of course, I don't get it up around the eye area. It says it's dermatologist tested, vegetarian. Free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, mineral oil, and harsh ingredients. Certified cruelty free. Um, it's available to purchase in the USA through drawer online boutiques or through the network of independent drawer guides. Um, of course, okay. my um, memory card was full. So I was just getting ready to lead into. Some more products that were sent to me um, through Octoly. Normally, when with Octoly, um, I have what they call a free store. It has a list of products that I can look at, and then I can go and select. If there's something I'm interested in, like the Ofer lipstick, I can go in there and um, message the company and say, Hey, I'm interested in your product. You know, this is why I would like to get it. This is what a kind of video I would do. This is why I think my subscribers would like it and would like to see it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, would you send it to me? Well, this is the first time that Octoly actually contacted me and said, Hey, this company has seen your videos and seen you and they think you would like their product and they would like to send you their product. And you've been pre-approved to receive blah blah so I'm like okay so I looked at it and I'm thinking well I'm thinking okay I'll I'll go ahead and accept it and try it and I, I really wanted to, to contact them and let them know I'm like hey there's a good possibility that I may not like this because I just there's just a good possibility and once you see all this you're gonna you're gonna understand but anyway, I went ahead and accepted it, and I've used it a couple of times, but I, I do not like it. I, I do not recommend it for me, and um, so let's, let's do it. Let's talk about it, and it's from the brand Andrew Walker. Um, now, he was the stylist on the Oprah Winfrey show, and he did Oprah's hair while she was doing the show. He's won um, a lot of awards for his work on the show and doing her hair. And we can all admit her hair looked fabulous. I loved the way her hair was. Well, he's come out with his own line of 
hair products that is geared for um, people that have curly hair. Okay, so I can see why they would want to send me, you know, the products and everything. But if y'all have been watching my channel and have heard me talk about my curly hair, y'all know that my curly hair has um, control issues. And um, it is very, very, very picky. And um, it does not really like new products being brought in and trying on it. Um, it knows what it likes and anyway so they sent me the um, it's called the gold system and they sent me the ultimate moisture sulfate free shampoo and this one is they have different ones that you can select based on your curl pattern and number one that that's the way to start because not all curly hair is the same number one you know we all have different curl patterns we have different texture you know just because I have curly hair doesn't mean you can just give me a curly a product that says it's for curly hair and it's going to work for me and, you know you really need to look at you know the curl pattern what kind of curly hair I have you know if it's coarse if it's fine there's a whole lot of, of factors that go into curly hair so um, they sent me the shampoo there was a, um, a conditioner and a um, beautiful kink styling cream gelée that's in this thing right here so let me um, pull up so that we I can tell you about the product whoops wrong way wrong way and um, kind of tell you about him, I guess, which I've already kind of told you about him, though, that, you know, he worked for Ofer, or worked on the Ofer show and did her hair, and he's won a lot of awards, which is really good, you know, like Grammys, I guess, you know, for hairstyling and stuff, which is pretty awesome, you know. And um, there will be a link in the description box for the products. Even though I don't like them, it doesn't mean that maybe you wouldn't like them. But they just did, my hair did not like them. Um, he's a globally recognized authority on textured hair. Um, he was Oprah Winfrey's hairstylist for more than 25 years. And... Um, he has a hair typing system where there's um, four different types of curls or hair types. One straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair, kinky hair. And apparently this one here is for types three and four. Which I was kind of, because when they said they were going to send me this one, I was like, because I was looking at this little chart, because they said, that it was for type 4 and I was thinking well I don't really have type 4 curls I have more of type 3 curls more of type 3B than I do have 3A and I'm thinking well that's not really going to work for me but then you know it said here in this description that this was more for type this was for types 3 and 4 so <clears throat> they're saying that this is 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 for types 3A 3B, 4A, and 4B. So they're saying this is for four types of curly hair. I kind of have an issue with that because, you know, that's four types of curly hair. They're saying this one product is for. Mm, maybe not so much. And um, where are my glasses? I'm looking for my glasses here so I can read this. So, um... Sulfate free, okay, it was sulfate free. You're supposed to gently cleanse your hair and scalp without stripping your hair of moisture. I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, then it has moisture rich conditioner, which is a keratin rich formula to soften, hydrate, and help strengthen the hair. And then the styling cream. Let's see. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, that's really all I need, need to let you know, I guess. You know, paraben-free, sulfate-free, you know, animal testing. How much was this, this system? How much were all three of these products? $63 for all three of these products. Now, um, it does not say anywhere on here that these were the products that were used on Ofra. I do not believe that that was the case. I think he's just came out with his own line of hair products. Um, the shampoo was okay. I mean, it leathered up a, a bunch. It really did. It had a lot of lather to it. And the... Um, the um, conditioner was really, first of all, I don't really like conditioners that are in these little tubs like this, but anyway, that's beside that. But I really felt, it just had this really, really weird texture to it. I just didn't like this. And my hair, that the whole week, after I used this, the couple days, I think I ended up going two and a half days before I finally couldn't stand it no more and had to wash my hair. It just felt so weighed down and it was so dry and just dull looking. It was not shiny like it is today. I mean, y'all notice how shiny my curls is. And it's really hard to get curly hair to be shiny looking. If you have curly hair, you know. You know you just don't get shiny curls because of the way the curl pattern is it's very difficult and it was just so dull looking and it was just so weighed down and so dry looking even my color was just it just looked horrible I just did not like this at all and then I thought well maybe it was just the way that I did it maybe I used too much product maybe I didn't get it rinsed out good enough so I used it again, and I just, I didn't like it. I, my curls didn't like it, I should say no. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like the, the styling cream, which I didn't really think that I would, um, which looks like this right here, which is kind of hard to tell, but it's just a styling cream. Um, again, I just felt like it just weighed my hair down has an okay smell to it and it has something there's just an odd scent to it that it just can't it almost smells waxy is what it smells it almost smells waxy to me so I don't know I don't know if it's just not really meant for my type of curls and what I need for my hair so I just can't I just can't recommend it and um so today I was the first day that I was able to go back and shampoo it with what I normally do. I did my Olaplex treatment this morning and did what I normally do. I now got my curly, shiny hair back. And my curls are happy today. And oh, my battery died. Oh, my stars, this video, I'm not going to get this video recorded. Anyway, um, no, these products just did not work for me. So um, what I'm going to do with these is that um, the lady I work with, her granddaughter is mixed. So she has the ethnic hair, which I think these are probably more geared toward um, than my type of curls. So I'm going to give them to her and let her try them out, try these products out, and see if they work better for her, which they could be. So it could just spin my hair, but we all know that my curls, they're like a toddler, you know. They're going to rebel now for a week. <laughs> but no, they did, not like, they did not like those products. So anyway, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this very long-winded and broken up <laughs> weekly wows. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.